Hello everyone. Good morning. Welcome to Oracle Fusion technical training offered by UnoGeeks. In this video, we'll see how to use approval groups in the approval rules. Okay, so uh, in the previous video, we have seen how to use a management hierarchy in the approval rules section. And in this one, we'll see how to set up approval groups and use them to set up, uh, yeah, but to set up the approvals. Okay, and uh, before we use approval group in the in the transaction rule section or approval rule section, we have to define uh, define it first, and we can do it by using this particular task called manage task configurations for HCM. So we have picked up HCM a uh, process as an example. So that's why I'm going into HCM task. If you have picked up a financials related task, you go to manage task configurations for financials and create an approval group there. Okay, it'll it'll anyways take you to the same uh, landing page. So a task shouldn't matter. Okay, so let's go ahead and set up approval group first using this task. So I'm in the application now. Let me show you the navigation from home page. From the home page, yes, I have logged in as Curtis Vitti, who is HR specialist. So I go to setup and maintenance. Go to global search. Search for the the task called manage task configurations for HCM. Click on it. Wait for the page to load. The BPM worklist has loaded now, and you go to approval groups. And this is where you can create a new approval group. Click on the plus icon, can create a static approval group. Give it a name. We could call it as, you know, Geeks approval group. You can add a couple of members to it. Uh, we can probably add HCM underscore IMPL user. And we can add in another user to the to the list. We can probably add a Mitch Blum user. Okay, so we have two users selected now. Let me just edit it and see. Okay, so that means it is validating the user that we're typing in. So that's fine. And as a, as an approver, you can use uh, add a specific user or you can add one approval group within a, another approval group, meaning you could have nested approval groups in place if you want. That's something that you might want to know. And if I if I use this approval group in the transaction rule section or approvals rule section, any user who submits logs in and submits a full time regular job, it will go to HCM IMPL user first for approval and then it goes to Mitch Plum user. If you want to swap the order, you can do so by using these arrow marks. Okay, so you can uh, click the up arrow to make uh, Mitch Plum the first user. So this is a sequential approval. In case you are interested in a parallel approval, you could look at creating a dynamic approval group. Okay, static approval group gives you an option only to add a parallel or achieve a parallel, sorry, a sequential approvals. So we've created this approval group now uh, called Unogix approval group where in HCM IMPL is a first approver, Mitch.blum is a second approver. Now let's go to the rules section, the transaction manager approval rules section. I am on the create job process, configure rules. And as the rules stand now, uh, if it's a full-time regular job that is created, if it's a full-time regular job is created, or if, if a job request is submitted, which is full-time regular, then it, it will go to management hierarchy. We've seen how this works. And now let's go ahead and replace this with the approval group. Select the then clause, add an approval group. And we should select the approval group that we have created. Okay, let's go ahead and search for you know geeks approval group. That's it. Save. So if it's a full-time regular job, it goes to Mitch.blum user, uh, sorry, HCM underscore IMPL user first for approval, and then it goes to Mitch.blum user for approval. After receiving those two approvals, the job gets created. If it's a part-time temporary job, it gets auto approved. Okay, so that's how a rule stand at this point in time. Let's submit it. And once it is done, we'll go ahead and submit a job request. 
I'll go to setup and maintenance and I will submit a job request now. Create a new one. Uh, let's call it as you know gates approval group job and we'll create this as a full-time regular job select it as full-time regular and submit it request submitted search for the job no results found and that's because it would have gone to hcm impl user uh, queue and waiting for approval so let's log out and sign in as hcm impl user because if you look at the approval group we have used this approval group in which hcm impl user, user is the first approval See the job pending in my queue. I've logged in as HCM IMPL user. I'll approve this. And then it should go to a Mitch.blum user for approval. So let's go ahead and sign out. login as mitch.blum user and i could see the job ending in my queue let me approve this so this completes uh, this completes approval by uh, two members in the approval group and the job should have been created by now now let's go ahead and verify if the job is created or not let's search for it yeah you see the job created it's that simple to set up an approval group and use it in the approval uh, use it in the approval rule section sometimes you might have to set up a complex approval group depending on the use case but yeah setting it up and using it in the approval rules rules is, is quite simple in the next video we'll see how hcm data loader works hcm data loader is one of the bulk data load options available in hcm it's not one of the it is the only bulk data load option available in hcm data, hcm modules if you have to upload a small set of data into hcm modules you could use hcm spreadsheet data loader but if it is a bulk data upload that you want to do, HCM data loader is the way to go. In the next video, we'll see how it works. Please join me in there. Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. In case you are interested in Oracle Fusion technical training offered by Unokix, please call us on this number or send a WhatsApp message. Or if you have any questions, you can, you can email us on info at Thank you.